Hi everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Jade Empire. So our original plan was to visit the second quest man from here, get our stuff, and then go to the marketplace to sell our stuff, and then go to the arena. However, I'm going to add a step in between there to go to the martial arts school. Because if we're going to go to the arena, we might as well do a training camp first. Can't hurt, can it? So that is my new plan. If I can find my way. I've got a map, let's do that. I don't know where the marketplace is. I kind of thought that was the marketplace. Oh, it's stuttering a lot. Did I miss that book stand? Maybe. So we've got the two options to join the Imperial Assassins, haven't we? We've got the arena, and we've also got the Inquisitor this way. If I'm lucky, I can do both. If I'm unlucky, I can't. Let's see if our man we're after is marked on the map. No. However, he might be in the Scholar's Garden proper. We've read that about three times now, I think. So my landlord just came round because his internet's not working and he wants to pinch mine. But he was interested in buying my old broken down Astra. So I went to show him that it wouldn't start. It didn't even go where. And it just started. It didn't start very strong, but it went blip, 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 blip. And then we were off. Oh, for fuck's sake, game. That's the second time it's done that now. Stupid thing. Right. So this is one of the routes into joining the Lotus Assassins, isn't it? Gola Dongao. One cannot discover true enlightenment in the world. It comes only from within. Let's hope he's on this map then. Merchant Songao, that is he. Good day again. You've done a great deal to aid me. If there's anything I can do for you, just let me know. I've got some interesting items if you'd like to see them. I thought you were giving them to me, but fine, at least I can sell all my stuff. That's all buy. Right, let's just clear out the stuff I'm not using. Anything with a 12 I might want to keep. That might be a plot item, so I'll keep that for now. Oh, that 50% damage from traps might be good. That might be good as well. Right, so I'll keep those two. More silver. That sounds pretty damn good. I should probably take some screenshots of these. Mind you, only the ones from here on up are going to be new. And most of these are just stock stuff, aren't they? Yeah. So this is the first new one we've got. More silver from human enemies, which I think sounds very good. So I'll buy that. Yeah, that's all the junk I sold him. So I'd have to, that's got, yeah, we're definitely keeping that. So most of these are quite balanced, aren't they? So these are our key, most of these are just conversation improving. Ah, I've got two copies of that, even though it's good, whoops. Don't need two copies of it. So there we go. That is our inventory sorted. Let's go find this martial arts school then. I think we have missed that. Welcome, friend. The lecture won't be starting for a little while, though your enthusiasm is appreciated. I wouldn't worry about seating. Those interfering philosophers had made sure that very few people will be attending the lecture.
I kind of do want to know what the lecture is. Could I ask you some questions? Certainly. We can't learn without asking questions. How can I help you today? I think we've already exhausted the Scholar's Garden, but tell me about it. <laughs> Don't let the name fool you. There are fewer scholars here than you might think. We are far outnumbered by those obstinate philosophers. The philosophers believe that the gods dictate everything from the rising of the sun to the changing seasons. If the summer ends too soon or too late, the gods must be angry. Of course, anyone who cares to look can see that the birds control the weather. I have noted with some accuracy that the birds predict the seasons. Hmm. Cause and effect. The birds migrate because of the change in seasons, don't they? However, I'll listen you out. I'll hear you out. How do you think that works? I have a theory that the massive movements of birds in the autumn and spring actually cause the prevailing winds to change direction. When birds fly south just before autumn, they cause the winds to change. And we get cold air from the north until the spring, when the birds reverse the winds again. It's really quite simple, but just try telling that to one of the philosophers. Why do you mistrust the philosophers? Don't get me wrong, I like most of the philosophers, but their strict adherence to aging traditions makes them very difficult to deal with. They're always preaching about peace and harmony. Really, we kill and subdue the creatures of this world in order that we can survive. Where's the peace in that? Can a man survive long enough without eating meat? What about the grains we use to make our bread, or the hides we use for any number of things? We consume constantly. Peace and harmony are wonderful ideals, but in nature only the strong survive. And they don't do it by being peaceful. Well, that would have been good at the beginning of all those codex entries. What's your lecture about? I'm glad you asked. Today I will speak on my theories of cloud formation. That was my first major discovery, though it hasn't been widely accepted yet. The basic principles are really quite simple. I deduced after lengthy study that clouds are formed by the moisture escaping from our bodies. When the weather is cool, you can clearly see small clouds escaping from people's mouths. Similar clouds form on the skin of people working strenuously in the cold. These clouds of breath rise up and collect near the tallest peaks, where it is almost always cloudy. This was one of my finest discoveries. Although the amount of moisture a human throws out is fairly insignificant, I'd have thought, compared to lakes and stuff, that theory is actually fairly sound. I don't suppose you know about the Inquisitor Recruiter, now we're friends. What? <laughs> That's quite, quite a question. I'm not sure who told you, but I'd appreciate it if you would keep your voice down when asking those kinds of questions. Nobody here suspects me to be anything but an overzealous scholar, and I'd like to keep it that way. So you want to know about the recruiter? You have a flying machine, do you not? Yes, I know about that. Go back to the landing area and someone will meet you there. Huh, interesting. Why would we meet there, though? The location is public, yet relatively private. Common folk are not welcome on the landing area, so there will be no crowds to hide spies, or an ambush. That is all true. Okay, I'll be there. He already knows, I'm sure. Now go, and I will not speak to you about this any further. Your course is set. The Inquisitor will be waiting at your camp. Appease him, and you'll be on the road to appeasing me. Well, that was easy. Far too easy. Right, where's this school then? Not here. I wonder when we can get in there. Maybe it's once we've gone further down the Inquisitor route. Hmm. 
No, is it here? Yes, it is. Left and then left. Got to say, there's not very much in the market. I appreciate most people don't understand what jewels are. Most people can't use them. But I kind of expected some. I've already done that, I think. Is this a school? No, it's a shop. Welcome, welcome. Did someone from the Black Leopard School send you? No, I suppose you don't quite look like one of their students. Well, no matter. If you're looking for weapons, I have quite a good selection and reasonable rates. Would you like to see what I have for sale? Yes, I absolutely would. Here you go. There's quite a lot, so take your time. That is not that impressive. Ah, we've got another sword here. I thought our sword was from the gods. How can there be a sword better than that? Well, maybe it'll tell us when we read it. So this must be an artifact... Yeah, artifact stave, this is. That is a lot of flavour text. Okay, so... That must be a plot item, I'm guessing. And this is a permanent increase in focus. Well, that's good. I wonder if we lose... I can't imagine we do lose all our skills. Right, let's stick a save in. And let's get the next weapon. Hello, Okay, so... Aha, it has indeed replaced our weapon. Hello. I'm surprised there's a wep another weapon of the gods, but there we go. I don't really care about that right now. I don't care about any of this right now. Oh, uh, yeah. Look at that. Well, I didn't know you could do that. Hello again. Tell me about yourself. Where did you find the weapon of the gods? Not much to tell, really. I've been working with the school for almost 20 years, like my father did before me. When they asked me to work for the school exclusively, I accepted. I'd rather have a steady life making weapons by the bunch than doing special orders all the time. And every once in a while, I get to make something unique. The Masters have some amazing scrolls describing weapons I never even knew existed. I wonder if we were lied to about that sword from the gods. I think it's just a tale. I think it's true. Tell me about the Black Leopard School. Hmm. Well, it's the best of its kind in all the Empire, or at least that's what I'm told. Of course, it's seen better days. Having two masters has really hurt the school, if you ask me. Seems the students spend more time bickering than fighting. But what do I know? If it was me, I'd just kick one of the masters out on his ear. I'd like to tell you which one, too, but I'd better not. Best not to get involved. Oh, that's interesting. Right, I think it's about time we went to get going to the school. Suit yourself. I have a lot of work to do. Good day. And considering that the weapon style was by far the best style we found, that's pretty good that we got a 25% power increase. Do you really think we'll find Second Brother here in the city? Why ask me? I don't even want to be here. Second Brother probably decided he didn't want to listen to Master Radiant anymore, and left to get some peace. Never! Second Brother is devoted to Master Radiant. If anything, I suspect Master Smiling Hawk had something to do with his disappearance. 
What? You dare accuse Master Smilinghawk? Quiet, you worms. You're here to look for second brother, not bicker like school children. Now get moving. Man, that third character's face was absolutely terrible. I don't know why, it was just... Well, yeah. You're a fool if you believe what Master Smilinghawk teaches. Brute force is not always the best way to win a battle. Oh, and Master Radiant's ways are better? I don't think so. Brute force is the only way to get what you want, and I can prove it. How? I'll show you. Hey, you! What do you think you're doing here? Get out of here, or we'll throw you out! Oh, I think that's a very interesting attitude. Be careful what you say. It might get you into trouble. I'm not the one in trouble here. We outnumber you, in case you haven't noticed. Now, how about you just turn yourself around before you get hurt? I appreciate he's trying to prove his point, but it's pretty stupid. How about you let me pass, you idiot? You don't hear so well, do you? Maybe we'll just have to show you what we mean. Come on, let's teach our visitor some respect. Oops, I didn't do that. However, I'm pretty sure he wasn't expecting it, because I wasn't expecting it. Long sword. Wo ufna aknakir yakowa krui ni rui kuper fita. Leave our novices alone. If you want to fight, you can fight me. Peace, third brother. That is no way to treat a guest. Guest? This guest just attacked our novices, and you're going to look the other way? You are just like Master Radiant, weak and... Enough! Leave us, third brother, before you disgrace the school and yourself, and take these novices with you. Yes, first brother. I apologize for my outburst. Come on, you louts. You'll be scrubbing the dining room floors for your part in this little altercation, says the hypocrite. I'm very sorry about that. We are not accustomed to having visitors. My name is First Brother Kai. Welcome to the Black Leopard School. Hmm, your students could learn to use a bit of restraint. Yes, you are quite right. Normally this kind of thing would never happen at the Black Leopard School. Fortunately, you seemed more than capable of handling the situation. In all my years, I've never seen anyone but a master with skills like yours. I would not normally ask, but would you be interested in joining our school? It would be an honor to have someone of your skill. Yes, I would very much like that as a training camp. Why would I? W but why? Why do you think I would want to join your school? Well, it's obvious that you can fight, and I assume you want to improve, like all fighters do. Even someone of your skill could find a challenge or two here. The school provides a safe place to practice against different opponents with different styles. You will no doubt catch the eye of one of the masters. They know unique styles and would likely teach you if you impress them. Yes, I would absolutely love to join the school. Excellent. I must speak with the masters on your behalf. They are the final judge of such matters. Wait here. Good news. Master Radiant agreed to let you join. A rare honor indeed. In fact, he would like to meet with you once you have proven yourself. First, however, Master Radiant wants to ensure that your fight against the novices was not just luck. You must now defeat each of the brothers here at the school. 
this makes no sense. So it's a rare, rare opportunity. But there's loads of people here and they suck. And now in order to join the school, he wants me to defeat the teachers. Yeah, that's how schools work, isn't it? Fucking idiot. That sounds reasonable. Doesn't it sound stupid? Good. A positive attitude will win you many fights before you even begin. You have proven you can defeat our novices. Now you must prove yourself against the brothers. The brothers have trained long and are second only in skill to the masters. Sixth brother is the least skilled, so you will start with him. Work your way to third brother. If you succeed against him, you will then challenge me. What about second brother who's missing because I had that conversation at the gate? Second brother is not here. For now, you must face only third brother and myself, after you've defeated the other brothers. I must be honest with you. I believe Master Radian has a plan in allowing you to join us. As you may have heard, there are two masters at this school. Master Radiant and I have tried for some time to temper Master Smiling Hawk's ways. He is cunning and ruthless and has little regard for students. Normally I wouldn't speak openly about such things, but you are new and your skill will draw his attention. Be careful. Master Smiling Hawk is a dangerous man. I mean, if someone has no love for students, working in a school is a pretty bad plan. That said, I don't have much love for human beings and I work as a pharmacist. But, you know, with all the places to be, I guess he gets wages and he gets trained as well. But I don't even understand why he'd want to be here. Why does Master Radiant even tolerate him? It is complicated. If you prove yourself, I'm sure that Master Radiant will be more than happy to explain it to you. For now, be careful and focus on defeating the brothers. Start with Sixth Brother and ask him to fight with you. I'm sure he'll be eager. Once you've defeated all the brothers, come and see me. Good luck. Okay, seems like a reasonable episode ambition to beat the four brothers who are here, doesn't it? What's that? Oh, Black Leopard is its own style. That's interesting. There's only six brother here. So you're the one who was challenging our novices earlier. That might impress Master Radiant, but it won't get you noticed by Master Smiling Hawk. I'm sixth brother Gao Shan. If you think you can defeat a disciple of Master Smiling Hawk, challenge me. I assure you, I'm much tougher than the novices. Yeah, but your eyes are too far apart. Tell me about the Black Leopard School before I kick your ass. Huh. <laughs> so you'd rather talk than fight. It's students like you that are giving the Black Leopard School a bad name. Master Radiant teaches patience and peace. What's the point? Why study for years to be a great fighter if you're not allowed to use your skills? Master Smiling Hawk believes in using our power to take what we want. He's the true master of Black Leopard School. I've already told you more than I should. Now, do you want to fight or not? It just sounds like a yob. Yeah, you need to get an ass whooping. All right, follow me. It looks like this sword is bigger. In fact, I'm fairly confident it is. Meet your end. That was lucky. I'll be ready for you next time. Well, you were terrible. Do you have anything to say for yourself? You again. I'll fight you again if you want, but maybe you should try Fifth Brother next, if you haven't already. It's up to you. No, no, I'll kick you in again. That's fine with me. The more I fight you, the closer I come to figuring out your technique. All right, follow me. Okay, basically you have to get a Sword of the Gods, and then you have to get a bigger Sword of the Gods. And that is basically my technique. That was lucky. Oh, we didn't get anything new. Okay, fair enough. Let's go find Fifth Brother then. Is he down there? Or do I have to talk to Second Brother first? First Brother first? Good work defeating Sixth Brother. 
Now you can move on to fifth brother. Is there something I can help you with in the meantime? Uh, where is fifth brother? A wise decision. Once you defeated... I feel like this is outside, back into the town. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Well, that's interesting, but not very useful. You certainly taught us a thing or two about fighting. Uh, it was foolish of us to challenge you earlier. I apologize for my impudence. Sorry for cutting him up. You filthy little swine! Look what you've done! Do you think I have nothing better to do than to clean up after you pigs all day long? Yes, mistress. I, I mean, no, mistress. Get out! Get out of here before I break your skull open, you little rat! public restaurant. We only serve the students here. You'll have to go back to the city if you're hungry. Well, I know that they punch each other in the face for a living, but people around here really have been hit with the ugly stick. Could I ask you some questions? Questions about what? Go ask your teacher if you have questions. Okay, but before I do that, uh, what do you know about the Masters? Masters? I'm the only master of this school. Those other two hide in their rooms all day long doing who knows what. How can you be master of anything when you never participate? It's unnatural. Of course, it wasn't always that way, or at least that's what I've heard. There was only one master once. Makes sense to me. Too many cooks in the kitchen, as I always say. This woman is humongous, though. Tell me about the Black Leopard School. You're the student, you tell me. What is there to tell? The boys come and learn to fight, and they think that's all there is to the world. Learning and fighting. They are very good at both, but put any one of them in a room with a lady and they just wither away. I'm surprised they even let you join. Never seen a girl in here except to help with the cooking or the cleaning. I hope you knock some sense into those boys. Wonder if she learned to walk from WWE Smackdown back on the PS1. Tell me about yourself then. Me? Is this some ploy to get an extra serving of fish in your soup tonight? It won't work, you know. But since you asked. I am the headmistress here at the school. I organize everything that these witless fighters forget to do. Paperwork, laundry, cooking, you name it. It's a thankless job. Never so much as a smile or a wave as I labor over my work. If it wasn't for me, this place would fall apart. Well, that was interesting. But I must be going. Goodbye. Good. I have work to do. Ah, that's where Third Brother is. That's useful knowledge. You may have defeated us, but Third Brother will teach you what real fighting is like. We may be novices, but we're still skilled. Your lucky third brother stopped that fight when he did. I apologize, but I cannot talk right now. I must prepare for a sparring match with brother Shang Jin. Master Smiling Hawk's room. The sturdy door cannot be opened at this time. It doesn't look that sturdy. I to say, it doesn't look sturdy. It looks like a paper door to me. I'm guessing that's locked as well. Master Radiance room, the study door, sturdy door, cannot be opened at this time. Ah, found fifth brother. Hello. You must be the new student. I'm fifth brother Shang Jin. There's been quite a stir regarding your entry into the school. Most unorthodox. It would seem Master Radiant is up to his tricks again. Regardless, you've defeated sixth brother so we can spar. Would you care to try your skills against mine? Yes, that sounds good, but um, tell me about Black Leopard School. The Black Leopard School is the most respected school in all the Empire, but we are losing that respect. 
The school has strong leadership, but we currently suffer from having too many leaders. Two masters is one too many. I don't mind Master Radiant, but he is too detached and too passive. Master Smiling Hawk could regain our respect if Master Radiant would let him. Seems a lot of them like Master Smiling Hawk. I haven't met him, but I can't figure out why. He just sounds like a talentless thug to me. What do you think happened to Second Brother? I have no idea, though he was very vocal in condemning Master Smiling Hawk. Perhaps he grew tired of all the bickering here and decided to leave. I know if I was a follower of Master Radiant, I would likely get very bored, very quickly. Maybe he just decided to go to a new school, somewhere more peaceful. I don't know why. The other... Yeah, it's too suspicious. I want to challenge you to a fight. I'll beat the location of Second Brother out of you. Good. Follow me. Come on then. Thank you for the opportunity to learn from you. Goodbye. Well, he wasn't any better than fifth brother. Sixth brother. Oh, his fourth brother. Oh, you got on one of the bad faces. Hello, my name is fourth brother Yu, and you must be the new prodigy. First brother told us to watch out for you. He said that you're very talented. Since you've defeated Fifth Brother, perhaps you'd let me decide just how talented you are. Care for a match? Yes, I absolutely would, but tell me about Black Leopard School. Well, the school is the best of its kind in all the Empire. I consider myself very fortunate to be a student here. That's not to say that we don't have our problems. Having two masters is a bit... unusual, and it seems to slow the progress of the school. Master Radiant is a great leader, but he never comes out of his room anymore. Master Smiling Hawk, on the other hand, well, I shouldn't say anything about that. Johnny, that's pretty suspicious that he didn't come out of his room anymore. What do you think happened to Second Brother? I've been trying to find that out myself. I even sent a few of the students into the city to see if they could discover the truth. Master Smiling Hawk was the last to speak with Second Brother, though I still don't know what they discussed. It's no secret that they disliked each other. Third Brother told me that Master Smiling Hawk sent Second Brother into the city on an errand, but nobody saw him leave the school. I fear Second Brother has run into trouble, and I suspect Master Smiling Hawk is behind it all. Yep, I agree, but I'm still going to pummel you. Let's go, then. Even though this guy has a bad face, he doesn't seem like a bad guy. Shit, he's better at fighting than the other two. Very impressive. I can see the Masters were right to let you train with us. Well, thank you for the fight. Okir Okun Wang Pifir, Ir Witiwik, Ir Wosa Ir Sonkut. So, you've defeated Brother Yu. Finally, you'll get your chance to see what a real fighter can do soon enough. How about right now? I would like that, more than you can guess, but I have other orders. Master Smiling Hawk wants to see you. He sent me to escort you. Follow me. What if I don't want to meet him? You're a student, and I am third brother. You will do as I say. Master Smiling Hawk has even less patience than I do. Let's go.
Thank you, third brother. That is all. You are dismissed. Y yes, Master Smiling Hawk. So, you are the new student I have heard so much about. Rarely does someone so young display the ability that you have shown. I noticed that you did not come from one of our usual schools. Do you mind if I ask you who your real master is? Has he got an Ouroboros tattooed on his forehead? That's pretty suspicious. Why do you want to know? You have talent. And with second brother's death, we have need of a new brother. Yeah, two problems there. Firstly, what happened to second brother? I asked him to do something for me. He refused. Let me be blunt. Master Radiant is holding this school back. He's holding me back. Radiant is weak. He follows the way of harmony. His methods are slow and pitiful. This school belongs to me. I want Master Radiant removed, and you're the one to do it. You have certain abilities that will enable you to defeat my rival. What? No, piss off. I'm not doing that. Can't believe you killed Second Brother because he disagreed with you. I'm not going to ally with you because if I disagree with you, you'll kill me. I want no part of this crap. I would deal with it myself if I could. However, Radiant is a unique problem, and you are the solution. You are the only one here capable of defeating Master Radiant. And rest assured, I will reward you extremely well for ridding me of him. To begin with, you'll have to deal with First Brother Kai. Destroy him, and you'll only be left with Radiant. But together, they would be too powerful. I said no! I'm not going to hurt First Brother Kai or Master Radiant. So, First Brother is already winning you over, I see. He is pathetic, and so is his precious master. Yeah, but he's not a murderer. Do as I ask, and I will teach you things that no one else can. I also have a few rare items that should appeal to you. Simply kill First Brother and Master Radiant. The task is straightforward. Yes, it is straightforward, and I'm not doing it. I'd rather die than help you. You are a fool! You could have had everything. Instead, you will not survive your match with Third Brother. I will see to it. Now get out! Well, what a little shit. What a bag of shitheads. I'm going to kill both of them. And on that bombshell, thank you for watching. Come back for some more Jade Empire. Lucky Hand, more silver from human enemies. When properly prepared, this gem plucks the silken strands of fate, gently placing small amounts of local currency in the pockets of the people within a certain distance of the wielder. Used in more innocent times to subtly bolster the wealth of the poor, these gems have fallen into misuse, and pickpockets now use it to pad the pouches of those from whom they steal. Physical Universe, the Scholar's Hypothesis To suggest that I, of all people, do not understand the significance or the importance of the celestial beings is preposterous. I pay my tributes at the temple because I honour those who gave us our minds and our curiosity. Philosopher Jiang ignores the crux of the problem by hiding behind his arguments of divine belief. The scholars have made some recent discoveries, such as the way in which clouds are formed, but the philosophers, led by Zhang, dismiss these theories without even hearing them out. How can we progress as a society if we refuse to accept new ideas and concepts? The philosophers would have us cling to our traditions, even at the cost of our own prosperity. Dragon Sword, Artifact Weapon as an artifact weapon, the Dragon Sword will replace less powerful swords when purchased. Before his departure to the Unknown, the Celestial Dragon crafted the first true warrior, Lu Fang. Though Lu Fang's fists were stronger and quicker than any blade, the Celestial Dragon forged the Dragon Sword to give the warrior a weapon worthy of his skill. Hard as dragon scales and sharp as a dragon's tooth, it is still one of the most formidable swords in the Empire. Flawless 
As an artifact weapon, Flawless will replace less powerful staves when purchased. The scrolls of Peng Chi contain the story of a monk who shaped a flawless staff using only swatches of silk. At first, the silk did nothing but polish the rough wood, but after 34 years the staff was perfectly smooth, straight and flawless. After finishing the staff, the monk told his abbot he was going for a walk to test his new staff and he never returned. An exiled warrior eventually discovered the staff and attached a sharp blade that is every bit as perfect as the staff itself. It has since been adorned with precious metals, but it remains as flawless as ever. A bar of nickeled iron. This bar is made of iron alloyed with nickel, producing a far stronger metal referred to by some smiths as steeled iron or simply steel. Craftsman's Litany. Many craftsmen repeat litanies in their heads while they work, the repetition helping them focus. A warrior who has learned the power of such exercises can adapt their meditative nature to the battlefield with much the same results.